Good morning, everyone. Let me go ahead and check if everything is um, working properly and making sure I am live on my page. So let me go ahead and check that real quick. We were like expecting rain today. Well, that's what it says. So I'm a little nervous that my internet might go off. Might stop working. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let me see. Okay, so that should be fine. Good morning, everyone. My name is Betsy Robles, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out here in uh, Freeport, Texas, southeast of Houston, small little town, surrounded by other small little towns. <laughs> but um, if you're here live, make sure you say hi. Um, and uh, I know there's a lot of crazy weather going on everywhere um i have a friend who lives in uh, utah and she had snow i have another friend that lives in colorado and she said they had snow yesterday so it's pretty crazy out there and let me go ahead and get everything here situated Today, I'll be featuring the Cottage Rose uh, Bundle. And this one is in the last chance list. So it comes with the, the dies and the, the uh, stamps. And these are cling stamps, the red rubber. And that's what I'll be featuring for today. Um, I I was a little afraid of the weather affecting the my internet, so I think I'm just gonna cut it really short today, guys. Um, even though it's a little sunny, but it was very cloudy in the morning, and I'm just gonna cut it really really short so I'll be demonstrating you how to make a card with that one bundle and showing you what other materials I use to create because I have a card here and I am very iffy about it but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and wing it my, that's one of my son's favorite um, joke to say. Um, all right. Let me go ahead and put that there. I was very ill prepared for today, you guys. And I apologize in advance for that. Oh yeah, I guess it's just the weather gets me very, very nervous. Okay, so I'm going to feature that bundle and I'm going to go ahead and also use some of the um, stitch, the uh, stitched, oh my goodness, where did I leave it? The uh, stitched. I think I put it up. Yes, I did put it up. The stitch, uh, the stitch, the styling 
shapes dies. I am so excited. This is carrying over, but sad that the scalloped circles, I think that's what it's called, because they have scallops on there. That one's retiring, but I really like the stitching on these dies. They're very, very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, use that. I'm gonna use the uh, cup, copper embossing powder with the Versamark ink because you need that in order for you to emboss and I like that. I really, really like that look that it gives. And let's see, some blending brushes. And I think that should be it. And I'm going to use Petal Pink and Dark Soft Sea Foam uh, Alcohol Markers. And I believe that's it. That way I can go ahead and um, flip the camera. Oh, reminders. Um, Paper Pumpkin, the last day to subscribe for that, remember, is April 10th. What is being featured on this is that you get a little organizer and it's gonna fit in one of your paper pumpkin um, boxes. I still haven't made one. Mine, you guys. Good morning, Marianne. And um, it's gonna feature that. So make sure to sign up by April 10th and the price it's going up I think a dollar more and so if it was $23.50 it's going to be $24.50 now and other than that it's the retiring list that's going on right now a lot of stuff already sold out you guys there's a lot of stuff on sale up to 60% off you gotta pay attention on some of them because it's better for you to get the, um, buy it separately versus the bundle because you'll save more. And some of them that are carrying over to the new catalog, you will not be able to save the 10% on there because as a bundle, they're gonna be discontinued. So you're gonna have to buy them separately. So if you're interested in any of the bundles that are in the mini catalog, because a lot of them are coming from the mini catalog that are carrying over to the annual catalog. Make sure you get them because they're not going to be in the bundle pricing. They are going to be, you're going to have to buy them separately, the stamps and the dies separately. But the ones that are on sale right now and that are being discontinued, retiring, they are, it's better for you to just go ahead and buy them separately and save your 60%, your 30%, or your 20% off. And I got my catalog yesterday, you guys. And of course, I left it in my other table. I was looking at it and because it's, it's different to look at it through your iPad, your computer versus seeing it in person. So, oh no, look, I have it right here. This is the new catalog, you guys really really nice and I've, I already labeled the SP just and um, but yeah let me go ahead and flip the camera that way we can get started but other than that those are all the updates that we have for today and everything that's going on right now and the cell paper pumpkin and yeah so let me go ahead and flip the camera and that way you guys can see what we are going to work with this morning. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little. Okay. 
Okay. I think that's a little better. All right, so we're going to start with our first card. I went ahead and embossed that, but I'm going to show you what we are going to do. Okay, so this is a regular cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and burnish it using your uh, um, your uh, bone folder. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's see, let me scoot it over to wait to the back. All right, so then we are gonna go ahead and adhere. This paper is going to discontinue, you guys. This paper is the one from, it's in the mini catalog, and it's going to discontinue. It's the one with the hearts. Um, all the paper doesn't carry over. The DSP, that's not gonna carry over. So let me show you, just in case you wanna know uh, where, it's that. So it's this paper. It's a very nice paper. Um, the DSP, that one, it's going to retire, but there's no discount on that one. This is going to carry over. So is the ribbon. And so is the, the bundle, but not as the bundle price. So if you want to save, go ahead and save 10%. Go ahead and get, get it now as a bundle price. And this is the paper that I'll be using for today. And the bundle that I am using is this one. Let me go ahead and look for it. Here it is. It's a very nice, um, it's called Abigail Rose. It's a very nice paper. And I like that, um, I don't know, it's very subtle. It's, even though I did wanna add some color to it, but I think this DSP is very nice and we'll be using the ribbon as well. And, but this is found in page 57 and this one is going to retire. So if you're interested, make sure you grab it now. So let me go ahead and adhere this. Yes, that's a very nice paper, Marianne. I really like it. I had to grab some more <laughs> before it's gone. Because a lot of the stuff is, is gone. The inks is gone. The refill, the... This ink is gone. A lot of these are gone, especially the because we are having a um, a color refresh. So a lot of the, those colors are that they are going to discontinue. They are going to everything is going away. The paper, the cardstock, the alcohol markers. The markers, which I used this last time, um, those are going away. There's going to be an update on those. So it's it's a lot happening. So this is the largest square from the uh, stitched rectangle, the stylish shapes. And the, uh, the rectangles are also going to discontinue, you guys. Um, I really liked using that with my um, with the scalloped uh, dies. I really liked they were um, they match perfectly. So we are going to adhere this here like so, and now we are going to use the natural finish ribbon, right? So. What I did for this, so this phrase, you can see that, this phrase. I don't like that. Let me go ahead and move my camera this way. I don't like that, that it frays. So if you like that look, go for it. I did not want it for this card. 
not for this card. So what I'm going to do now is measure this. Kind of want it to be layered this way. So I'm going to cut it this way, hoping it doesn't fray. All right. So we're going to do it that way. Go ahead and angled. Okay. So you see it's already fraying. <laughs> Let's go ahead and cut just a little bit more. And I used to sew. Well, I still have my sewing machine, but I don't. I started using it for scrapbooks. <laughs> to scrapbook and then I just stopped using it in general. So I use this freight freight check. And this is really good if you don't want to, if you want to use it on ribbons because you don't want them to fray. And all you do is just add it just a bit to the ends of your ribbon. And that is going to help it not fray. But of course, if you are going for that look, go ahead and... And uh, you know you don't you don't need this, but I think you can find this in any play any fabric store, and use that. So you have to give it time to dry, and I already did that, so it's gonna look like this. So you see how it's not fraying, so it helps it. Right, so let me go ahead and put this off to the side. That way you can dry. And then we are going to use it here. I like to use for this ribbon in particular, I like to use the tear tape. So let's see, where's my end here? And I'm going to... So what I do is I add it to my ends. Like so. You don't need that much. I should have just done it the other way. I don't know why I did it this way. Now thinking about it, I don't know why. But... Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> In my last live, I felt like I did so many mistakes, you guys. But hopefully you guys don't do any of that stuff. So So just gotta be careful with this, especially because it's ribbon, it's very finicky. So just try to get it to, oh, let's, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, there it goes. We got all four. Okay, so now we are going to put it like so. All right. So we got our our background done, you know, our everything that we need. So now we are going to stamp the We are going to stamp our uh, flower and I am going to use basic gray for this. I did not want to use memento. I know you have to use memento so whenever you um, 
Use your alcohol markers, which are these. When you use those markers, it is recommended for you to use the Memento, um, the Memento ink pad, which is this. I didn't want a, I just didn't want to use it. So I went with basic gray. Oh, hi, Pat. And let me go ahead and chamois this before it gets anywhere. And then what we are going to do next is, oh, I think I, let me see, did I get another one? Yes, I did. Okay, so we got that done basic gray so now I am going to use my Versamark ink because we are going to emboss and I love to emboss so we are going to use the feel better real soon um, sentiment from that same uh, from that same uh, stamp set and you just center it, try to center it. I always do this to make sure it's stamped properly. And then I already have some of the copper stamping embossed powder on my Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Use my Stampin' Buddy. Which is this, and I have it right here. And sometimes if you don't use that, it doesn't take the static away. So I suggest you use that. See, second mistake of this morning. <laughs> it's okay. You gotta give yourself grace, so. All right, so then you just go ahead and uh, heat emboss it using your um, your heat emboss. Um, uh, you just use that and you heat it up. And I already did that, so it's going to look like this. See that little shimmer? This looks really good. So we're gonna use that. Now for this, I wanna go ahead and use dark petal pink. And we are not going to color all of the flower. You can see that it already has some detail. So that's where we're gonna focus on. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do this. And this is the dark and I am using the brush tip. And just be gentle with your markers. Now, if you wanna color the whole flower, you can. You know, it's your choice, it's your flower, it's your card. You go ahead and make it however you would like to make it. Color as much as you want, stay outside the lines, it's okay. I always tell my son, you know, you color it whatever color your heart desires. So you just do that. But I need you to stay inside the lines. <laughs> and he is doing very well in coloring now. He saw me using my markers the other day my stump and write markers and he wanted to use those and i was like no 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 you have your own markers you have your own uh uh watercolors use all that <laughs> not my stuff <laughs> and then i'm going to use petal pink for this add some color to this
and then I am going to use the dark soft sea foam. I'm so glad this color didn't retire. And pear pizzazz dead. So on this one, we are going to just the same thing, just trace the lines. Trace the lines. And there you go. And then you use the, your cut emboss machine and you go ahead and cut that out. I believe I already have one ready. Let me see. If I don't, then I am going to have to cut this out. It's okay. I was trying not to use my machine. And then I just cut it out because this is the mini and this die fits in the mini. So my plates are well loved. You are going to see in just a little bit for my mini. <laughs> they are well loved, you guys. And it is. And I have, I am using it this way. I tend to flip them. And then I use some of the post it so that I, or you can use your washi tape if you have a lot in your stash. Go ahead and use that washi tape. And Go ahead and do this. Oh, you know what? I am right handed, so let's flip it over that way. Hold on. Yeah, it looks fine. I thought it moved. You can use more than one um, washi tape or post it tape and here you go and this is what you get okay I am also using some of those dies that come in this bundle the dies are very beautiful you guys they're very detailed and if you have not if you don't have this bundle I suggest you do it because it is on the retiring list and they are very detailed so this is what you get so I went ahead and die cut the detailed flowers using this copper uh, what is it rose gold 12 by 12 specialty paper and you get different shades of uh, copper paper so you get this little shimmery one this iridescent looking and then this matted looking up uh, 12 by 12 paper and you get two of each and I already used some of this because I needed to use it for another um, uh, for a swap and I use that paper all right so we got that we already die cut this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. I want my sentiment to be on this side. I want to use this one and put it on this side, like so. And then I wanna use this one and put it Maybe there. Yeah. So we are going to that to do that. And let me go ahead and add some there. And let me add some here. I believe 
believe that's how it went. Let me see. Is that what I decided? Okay, yeah. Yep, looks good. Okay, maybe this one I'll put it just a little bit more this way. And then I am going to use some dimensionals. And I cut these in half. I feel like it, it fits a little more. And I don't know, I just like to use the um, bigger dimensionals and not so much the minis. Because right now you're using one, two, three, four, four dimensionals. You know, I know it looks like a lot, but it's honestly just four dimensionals. And uh, right, and go ahead and I know I want it like that. Okay. So I'm gonna do this there, but I wanna move this just a little, like so. Okay, and then this one. I'm gonna move it this way. It's stuck. Okay, yeah, it did. It's like I know I put a dimensional there, that way it can um, uh, stay down. So then since we are going to put this this way, we are going to add some seal on that side and grab some more dimensionals. Put them on this side. Like that. I think I'm gonna have to use one more. But I'll see. Okay. I think I wanna use one more and put it at the bottom. Mm. Oh, someone gets stuck. Same. Okay. And just like that. All right. So this is the first card. And then, uh-oh, let me see. That feel better real soon looks, doesn't look so good. <laughs> okay, that looks better. <laughs> okay, now let's go ahead and add some iridescent uh, pearls, basic jewels. And I like to use my uh, putty from this take a pic tool and let's just go ahead and grab some pearls and pearlize our card let's see let's put one there uh oh set it to fly okay, okay you know what this is a bigger one let me use a smaller one. Okay, I think I want to use one more on what's going on with this one. Two, three, four, let me see. I think I want to add one more. Yeah, let's use five instead. Maybe I could have put one more here. I'll just leave it like that. Okay, 
And I love to stamp the inside of our card. And I am going to use our six by six paper stamparatus. You guys, the stamparatus is so doubt. The stamparatus retired. They're no longer going to carry it. Stampin' Up! It's not going to carry it anymore. You guys, that breaks my heart. It was such a good stamping tool for any uh, card maker, for any stamper. It, you know, anybody that likes to stamp, it was such an awesome tool. You know that um, you can have and <sighs> they're no longer going to carry it, you guys. And um, a lot of people, you know, went ahead and got it and now it's sold out. I figured, you know, oh, they'll, they'll have enough. They'll keep it in the store until they, they sell out. But no, you guys, it sold out. It's no longer available, not online, and nowhere, unless, you know, you go somewhere, whoever wants to get rid of it, but you guys, I personally would not want to get rid of mine. Okay, so this, you have to give it time to dry, and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here. Yeah, so I like to use the the stamparatus the six by six um paper pad um i'm not i did not check to see if that one was sold out if it was still available but for sure the stamparatus is gone you guys it's gone and um i don't know i feel like no other stamping tool is as good as Stampin' Up's Stamparatus. It's, it's, no, nothing out there is as good as our Stamparatus. And I am being very biased. <laughs> it was such an awesome tool that you can have. And it's gone. Okay, so... I'm not going to stamp a sentiment here. I'm going to just, you know, do the, what is this? The flower, the rose. No, it's not a rose. The flower. <laughs> just leave it as is. And here's our first card. And see this one, I think I might add more, more pearls to that. Okay, so, but for our next card, you guys, honestly, I was not prepared. Just telling you the truth. Um, I, um, I decided what stamp to use um, last night. Just last night, I decided to use this one because I was uh, focused on... Well, what about it if it sells out? What about if it um if it's not available for the customers? And I just decided, you know what? Let me just go ahead and use this this um bundle because I have not used it. So I went ahead and you know started using it. Oh, thank you, Pat. Oh yes, it's it's very nice. I honestly got this. I think it was for, um, oh, what was, we're having that again this year. Um, create and connect. I think that's what it was when you would buy that stamp, that bundle, you got some pearls. It was this one and another, um, or was that for October for card? world card day i can't remember but that's when i decided to buy it because i really like the samples 
uh, whoever presented did a very, very nice um, presentation on this. And I really liked it. So this is our first card and that is done. All right, you guys. This other card, this is what I was thinking. We can work on this. So I am using Blackberry Bliss. I'm so glad that one's staying. Rich Rasselberry is the one that's leaving. What happened here? Let me see. Good thing I have another one. I don't know what happened there. So, I don't know if I... Did I cut my paper? I don't know what's going on. Let me see. Let me grab another one. Because this one, look what it's doing. It's like tearing it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So let me go ahead and grab another one. I don't know if I scored it. I don't know what happened. So four and a quarter by five and a half. this other one. Oh, you guys, it's happening again. Why? Look, this one tore. What's going on? I just <laughs> use my, my fingers. I'm not being rough on this. I don't know what's going on. Okay, well this one's good let's just try to burnish it just a little bit more i don't know what's going on all right i can use that to mat or you know something else okay but this was what i was thinking on this this is a quattro foil this one's gonna carry over and i when i did my display stamp I was a display stamper over on the my uplines uh, event. Um, I went ahead and used this. Uh, I I I have a whole video uh, showing you uh, the the different. Um, different samples. For the cards that I made using the oh what is it called now I can't remember but it was using this one this stamp set that's going to retire but this punch is going to stay and so is this embossing folder that's going to stay But the stitch rectangles, you guys, is going away. It's so sad. So sad about that. But yeah. I have a I have a blog post with all that stuff. And then I have um a a a video. You can find it here on my on Facebook or on YouTube. So I really like the detailed dies on this. Now you can add adhesive sheets to this, but I I didn't because 
I usually, you know, just as I did on this card, I um, use stamp and seal and that's how I adhere the stuff. Okay, so I wanted to use this um, this flower, right? It comes this way. I did not want to go because what you can do is this since it's this way you know it would your leaves would be on your left and that that looks weird you know and i didn't like that so i decided to cut it out so that's exactly what i did i went ahead and used highland heather no, it's Fresh Freesia, which this is an ink color that is stained, you guys. So that's an ink color that's stained. And I love to use the mini brushes, which also carried over. And I do, let me see. Let me do it here. I guess I want that blob in the middle. And then you just do this. If you want it darker, you go ahead and, you know, do it darker. But I think I'm okay with that. And then what I did was I cut it out. So I just cut this out. Just follow. There's no dye for this, just to cut out the flower. There's no dye, so what I decided to do is fussy cut it. Because I really like the flower, I really wanted to focus on the flower, but I did not want the leaves to my left. And I felt like, okay, well, I'm going to be using the same layout, like my flower is going to be on that side and I don't want it to be on that side. So, that's one thing you can do. Do it like that. And that's how I got this. So now I have two. And then I still use this. But what I did is the same thing. I used the dark soft sea foam did the same thing as I did on my first card went ahead and did all this on my leaves on all my leaves you know what let me look for my fresh freesia right quick let's do And let's go ahead and color these. All right. And then, like I said, I didn't want the flower to be on that side. Okay, so this is a quadrifoil I forgot to tell you guys. This is a quatrefoil. It's a four by five and a quarter. And these are three quarters. Let me see. I believe I did make it for three quarters. Yep, three quarters. And it's the same for all these. And this is part of the host paper, which is also going to retire. It's no longer going to be available. And... I, this is retired, I know, sorry, but I, just like my upline, I like to use it for this because I've tried cutting it and nope, it doesn't come out as perfect. You know what, I think I moved my, doesn't come out as perfect, so I like to use <laughs> my this punch that is no longer available. Sorry. 
and it's just something that I keep now. I don't know, so I was going for this look. The reason why I brought Blackberry Bliss was because this, the polka dots are Blackberry Bliss. So I decided to add that touch to this. I could not find a paper that had Blackberry Bliss on there. I didn't check here to see maybe and these are also going to retire um, that I wanted to use I don't know I uh, these are the ink colors So I didn't find a paper that um, had like a Blackberry Bliss to it that I can use. So I just decided to leave it as is and just go up, use both of the same color. Oh, and this one's also retiring the tea, the tea boutique. Everything from here is going to retire. So, yeah, and I don't have the the colors for that one. Which all those are going to retire. So I just decided to stick with this. And this I am going to put here like so and I don't know maybe I can use one of these papers <laughs> that that's four maybe I can use let's see three three and a half let's do three and a half And then, let me see if I can make this work. Because I feel like that blends in. And let me do this right quick, right quick, right quick. I want to see how it's going to look if I do this this way. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and layer them like whatever. I usually try to conserve my paper, but for just this one case, I'm not so worried about it. Oh, and that Boho Blue Machine is coming back, you guys. Um, demonstrators were able to order it, and it's okay. We have one. If we already own one, it's okay. They're lending us. Oh, no, what happened? I wonder if there's something wrong with my cardstock paper because it's not... It's not cooperating. It tore when I was just uh, burnishing it, and now it's. I don't know, you guys. I think I'm just gonna have to order another one. And I've used Blackberry Bliss so many times. I've used it because I am down to like five sheets now. So I was a little bit worried that all of my sheets were going to do that. Oh no. So now there is something wrong with my paper. And yeah, I think I'm gonna like this. 
this at all. Yeah, I already tore it. going on but what I was thinking of doing was let's see let me put my plates on this side what I was thinking of doing is because I feel like it's just too matchy matchy blend it's just too matchy matchy and what I wanted to try to do was at least add some more of the blackberry bliss to this that way it doesn't look as you know there's a, at least some contrast but let me see let me try it one more time because this one is like torn some contrast to it I think I kind of like it that way or And I want some contrast like right here in the middle. this one there I think that looks pretty good instead of adding that fresh freesia um, specialty paper which this specialty paper you guys it's going to retire too so sad um, a lot of the good stuff is going but you guys a lot of great stuff is coming um, pre-order for us was yesterday and I was so happy that my catalog came in yesterday and I don't know it's so exciting I think I'm gonna leave it as is I don't think it looks that bad I think I like it this way versus how I had it with this even though I do like this but it it's just too matchy matchy um I do not have a white embossed um like a white embossed let's see no i think i liked it better with the Fresh freesia. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have something that. Let's see. Now, the other ones that are going to retire is these, this one, and this one the hive is going to retire as well so is this one the gingham this one's going to retire so both of these are going to retire 
I don't know, I think I like, I still like it better with that fresh freesia quatrefoil embossing folder. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna stick with it and see where it takes us and, you know, um, I like it this way and then this Just in the middle like that. Yeah, I think I like that. Or Also, it happens to you, Pat, when you score, when you uh, score your paper. It's never happened to me. It's never happened to me, but you know, I am left with like five sheets of Blackberry Bliss, and I think I am just gonna go ahead and order some more. I think I'm going to leave it like this. Okay, so I do not want to, let's see, let's do this and this and this because I need to cut this out. So for this, I am going to use my um, Tombow adhesive glue um let's see where did I put mine I don't know where I left my adhesive uh I stampin up sells this um um what is it called so that you can glue on that mat and it doesn't affect your use seal plus for this one. I want it to really stick to it. Just kind of measure this out. See how much you want. Hold on, let me check something right quick. Okay, now I think I am going to... Okay, Let's see, I am going to... Move this closer to here that way it can be seen because that circle I'm using the largest circle so it covers it's gonna get covered if I don't move this a little bit more to the other edge To make sure it's straight okay then let me go ahead and use this too for this instead of the glue okay even each of them equal spacing okay Maybe that one's longer okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. Okay. And then let's see. See what, when you use the plus, you just gotta be careful. So 
he was I was being gentle and now I'm like you don't have to press that hard or else it's going to grab your paper too so go ahead and go with this with the embossing folders I use the glue the Tombow adhesive glue or the stamp and seal plus because it's embossed so you want it to adhere to your card base okay let's see Now, I'm going to go ahead and do this here. Kind of center it. All right. And then I'm going to add some dimensionals to this. this I'm not gonna I'm not pressing it down because I need to glue this to it so don't press down just get an idea of where you are going to put it and then I want it like so oh no some of the glue I'm gonna have to clean that then okay some of the backing to it. Okay, so. All right, so let's see. down to make sure that it grabbed those little ones all right so let's see let's go ahead and do the inside of the card to use a four and a quarter by five I mean four by five and a quarter and do that then I'm going to do the same thing go ahead and grab a stamp and 
stamp it in basic gray. So this one, I'm just going to do it this way, just like the other card. And give it time to dry. light or dark blackberry bless go for the light and we're just doing the same thing as I did on my other one I should have done it in fresh freesia I'm not liking it. I uh, noticed whenever I was playing around with this set, how the dark doesn't look so good as the light, the, um, when you stamp it with light colors. So let me go ahead and grab another one and let me stamp it again because I don't like it. And let me do it in light fresh freesia. I think that's gonna look better. This we should be done. You see how it looks? It looks so much different. This is using light fresh freesia. I don't know with dark colors with the stamp set. I felt like it it just didn't look right. So um Let's just go ahead and stick with light colors for this. If you want to use dark, it's okay. It's your card, it's your choice. But I think I like it better with Fresh Fuchsia. And I don't color the whole flower. I just like to color where it's like shaded. And maybe this, I can do the, um, let's see. I feel like it kind of covers it though. But today the Mandalorian's coming out. I'm excited. Well, I think there should be a new episode today. I have not checked, but I'm excited about it. And yeah, look, I feel like it looks so much better with Fresh Freesia versus the black light Blackberry Bliss. So I feel like it looks better colored in light colors maybe because i am using basic gray i don't know maybe i don't know but um maybe if you use it in memento it it wouldn't look as bad but i did it with um what were the other colors that i was using calypso coral i was using calypso coral it didn't look right i used Flirty Flamingo, it didn't look right. Um, uh, there was another one that I used. I'm not sure if it was Orchid or Aces. One of the new in colors. And it just didn't look right. So I just decided to stick with the light. Uh, light colors. But yes, you guys. This is a card that... We just finished doing, wasn't sure about this one. And I think it's okay. I think the Blackberry Blessed um, 
looks better than the Fresh Freesia. I think so. And this is the other card that we made. So if you guys are going to keep shopping, just make sure to uh, place your orders ASAP because some of that stuff might sell out. So just keep an eye on all that stuff and place your orders. Um, let me know if you have any questions placing your orders. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Thanks, Pat. Thanks for being here and joining me. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Time. And thank you for joining me. You guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.